something at this point in time. Hot up! This is a people's court and I'm not allowing any politics in here. If you disturb me again, I will give you 1,000 years of contempt of court. You are also charged for charging people too much taxes because of your mismanagement, spending money then taxing the people for it. You keep borrowing money from the IMF and the World Bank in the people's name. Continuing the oppression of black people by the same colonial masters. Why you can't learn? No so-called third world country have been able to break loose from these money hawks. You have black people in a vicious cycle. If it wasn't for me, black people in this country would still be worshipping the Statue of Liberty. Well, tell me how come you change your mind now. Shut up. What you trying to do? Confuse the court? I am giving you both 1,000 years on the first account. From 1938 until now, you have been dividing black people. You're promising the people them right back into slavery. No, the only thing you have been truthful about is your thing about out of many one. Your Honor, that was taken from my Uncle Sam. Yes, because it's only one people that clean the street. It's one people that eat out of garbage eat. One people that cut sugar cane. One people in the sun and rain. One people that tile, and it's one people that say I collect the kyle. And speaking of Uncle Sam, I shall also charge you for giving rise to crack and cocaine in this country by killing off the ganja plant that used to help our foreign exchange deficit. I am giving you 1,000 years for the crimes of Anthony Gurley Gurley, Godfather Dan, and Mr. Crackstone. But your rather, not up, you should be hanged. But I shall be lenient and give you both 1,000 years. I have been noticing that in your airports, only outgoing passengers are caught with drugs. But never a tourist, yet we don't grow a cocky in here. But it keeps getting more common and common. But the tourist business is very vital to our national development. Vital? Vital to who? With your all exclusive hotels? Tourists will soon think that niggas are next island by itself. You claim that the poor can't take no more. But you're not giving them anything. I see more bends than nada. And I hear that a car that costs 20,000 in Miami costs 800,000 a year. What you do with all those extra money at customs? But you keep talking about tourist harassment. What you call what them doing with Jamaicans in foreign? Every day they're talking about Jamaican posse. Your Honor, as you can plainly see when I was in power, things were going to get right. I had all the white people with money on my side. All the brown people were starting to feel as if they were living in Miami. But what about black people? Well, as I was just getting around to them, I lost the election, Your Honor. That is no excuse, Your Honor. Before him, black people were getting very self-sufficient. Brown people were starting to acquire homes in Miami. That is because they were running away, Your Honor. White people started to say, I and I are diary. 
Your Honor, if it wasn't for him and his black ideology, we would reach much further. Your Honor, he never have poor people on the mind. That is why we're having so much trouble now. Your Honor, it is him change, not me. Your Honor, him have a party of gangs. It's him says so himself. Shut up. I see no difference between both of you. The both following the same thing. That has and is still keeping down black people. When you're not in power, Your Honor, it is easy to say this and that. But when you have power, it is very different. A different song you have to sing. I have given you both another 1,000 years. None of you have the solutions to black people problem. I suggest you read the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. Hold him carefully, then I might just grant your pardon. And another thing, before on the beginning of the sentence, both of you should visit Arcade and see how poor women run business from nothing. Let the domestic helpers show you how to use 130 dollars to feed a family of six for one week. Now take them away. 